Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back. This is uh, it's gonna be more of a bittersweet episode. Yeah, very bittersweet. Um, but also kind of hope for the future, you know? Yeah. So, what we're doing here today is we're gonna be talking about a the future of this channel, channel being like me, Astro Tater, and also kind of. A goodbye to a good friend. So, um, it's approaching the end of the school year, and unfortunately, I'm, due to some personal reasons, not going to be able to do college next year. So, he won't have the, uh, unfortunate experience <laughs> I wouldn't of having me harass him on a daily basis <laughs> next year. I do plan on moving down to Wilmington, though. So it's it's not like it's a final yeah, goodbye. You're it's, not, it's, you're not through with me yet. Not yet. So <laughs> if everything goes as we plan on it going, um we'll see you again. Yeah. In future videos. Keeping our fingers crossed. But um I thought since this is kind of like a goodbye to an old friend, we would go over things over the past year that have kind of changed us or shaped us to be who we are today, friends, our favorite moments, as well as, I, as I said, we're talking about the future, like future of my channel. And what we're hoping, or what I'm hoping for for my channel is next year I will be moving into apartments with uh, the guys next door, which you've seen, Mark and Connor. Um, he was originally planning on being with us, but due to, like you said, personal reasons, he won't be able to go next year. Um, filming, still plan on doing that, shooting video games, still plan on doing that, doing challenges, still plan on doing that, and who knows? He has a video camera too, um, we were, we do have a couple ideas, even though he might be far away, maybe two, two the and a half The internet's a magical place. Exactly. So, keep on the lookout for, for Andrew's comeback, Andrew's comeback. But to start us off, I thought Andrew would want to talk about some of his favorite moments that he's had in this dorm with me, or just in general. Well, so in, in thinking about this year as a whole, I've kind of broken it up into small segments. Yeah. And those segments correlate almost perfectly to the amount of changes we've made to this room. <laughs> yeah. How the bed is set up. Because we've yeah. gone through, like, what, four different iterations? Yeah, exactly. We had the original for about, like, an hour. The way the room came, we'll call it just stock. Where it and was, then after the parents left, we were like, all right, let's change this. changing it immediately. It was like a bed on that side, a bed on this side, a desk on that side, a desk on this side, and then the two drawers. And that was just kind of very, like, plain. And I have my side, you have your side. Don't talk to me. And we, we didn't like that. Neither of us are really that kind of guy. So it was like, moving wasn't even technically done yet. Yeah, exactly. And we already had our beds, like, in bunk beds set up, and all our, like, our TV, the TV that Alex brought was on that side of the room. And so we kind of had it in a more of, like, a... A friendly kind of social... Welcoming yeah. social environment. Can you pass me my phone? Oh my god, <laughs> it was like every night. Hey, boy. <laughs> Like, 2 o'clock in the morning, it would be like, Andrew, what? Can, can can you pass me the charger? No, 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 it was, can you turn the fan on? <laughs> <laughs> Every night. <laughs> I would just forget to turn it on all the time. <laughs> and then we transitioned to, I think it was, my bed is where it is now. Yours was where the dressers are now. Yeah. And you're... 3 a.m. hitting your head into the ceiling and going back to sleep and then not remembering it the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those are always interesting. And I feel like that was when we started getting more serious with the channel. Yeah. And we started, like, putting out more content. Yeah. We got a more professional setup. And that kind of situation started happening more. Yeah. Uh, I think it was a, around the time when you got your computer. Yeah, exactly. Around the time that I got the computer and I got better equipment for the camera as well as the lights and uh, just the overall studio setup that we have right now. And so, like, I broke the first part, not including the, like, stock setup, mm -hmm. as kind of the getting to know the roommate, that phase. And then there was the, all right, I'm friends with this guy, gonna 
do the YouTube thing with him, see where that goes, have a fun time with it. And then it we, was a fun time. We kind of switched to, I don't remember if there was an iteration between what we have now and the last one, but then there's the one we have now, which, which is, is my bed's here, Alex's bed is right here, the dressers are there, and then we have the The main studio on, yeah. setup, which I'll do a flashback right now. Fast forward to the future about four or five months later, here we are. It's been a long journey, and we're back. Um, that was our old setup, so or old slash new setup that we have going on right now. It's kind of taken apart because we're leaving today. And I kind of had this in the. Uh, this setup is more the. We've kind of hit our, our groove. We know what we're doing. This is our. This is how we want things to go. Mm -hmm. And Definitely. it's gonna suck <laughs> putting it back. Yeah. To yeah. <laughs> what it was like the first hour we knew each other. Because this Definitely. is not going to feel like this was our room when exactly. it was like that. Exactly. So yeah, that, that those are your favorite moments kind of thing? Well, that was more how I thought about, thought the, about year. the year. I gotcha. um, most of my favorite moments have come from our 3 a.m. Hey, I'm hungry. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Cookout? Cookout. <laughs> <laughs> Like, those kind of stupid moments where yeah. it's just, like, spur the moment. Just, like, let's Why buy not? a game. Let's go out and film something, you know? It's 3 a.m. Like... <laughs> We're adults. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then I'll add my little piece to it. Um, probably some of my favorite moments, like you, have gone on with kind of the room changing and getting the equipment. But in in more detail probably the funniest moments that i can remember the happiest moments at least was like after i got down filming and we're just sitting at two in the morning and i'm editing my videos just and laughing our asses off laughing some our asses stupid off joke because, that we made. <laughs> yeah exactly like um the hmm. haunted uh, haunted, haunted memories, memories video <laughs> i mean those pipes lead to that and if it leads to the earth and the earth gets it from the sky then I need to fly in the sky to get the gas. Sky, then I have to fly in the sky to get the gas. <laughs> like, just funny stupid shit like that. We were laughing our, like for a solid 10 minutes. <laughs> nope, nope, and then, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> and then we published it and like, the next day we're watching it back and we're like, <laughs> it wasn't that funny, <laughs> like, <what> but... <laughs> So yeah, definitely uh, editing wise, and then like getting all the equipment, it just felt like I don't know, like we were both genuinely like excited to add something more to the room, add something new to it. Mm -hmm. Like this room has grown as much as our friendship has, like over the over the uh, year, and then also just the the fucking um, what's it called the the game that we play D and D D and D. As much as that game frustrates me, and as much as I have my hardest times in it, <laughs> I still enjoy playing with you and playing with everyone just because it's a fun experience and it's like, I don't know, I get to see different parts of everyone and like, not in that way, but like... <laughs> oh, he means in that way. <laughs> no, nah, but um, that and just genuinely, the fact that you're so willing to help me out, like, grow this channel, you know, like... I've never met someone that I could just kind of just film and be myself around, which is why, like, during the summers and, like, when I'm back at the parents' house, like, I try and keep to myself and I try and, like, put out videos, but I have to do it, like, when no one else is in the house because I don't want to be screaming at the top of my lungs and, like... Because no one wants to watch a YouTube video where halfway through, mom opens the door and she's like, SHUT, Shut UP! <laughs> yeah. So it's like, I don't know, is you're the first person that's, like, genuinely shown interest in, like, helps me out be who I want to be so it's like it's nice and I don't have to worry about like you know you know that feeling that you get like when you go on stage or if you're doing something in front of people you you get that like pit in your stomach I don't have that with these guys because it's like they're my friends and they know what I like to do so I can just genuinely be myself in which case helps out with the filming as well because that's the last thing that I want as a person is to be fake in front of the camera, you know? And he knows that I would call his ass out on that so fast. And it's like, there's so many times where it's like, I've wanted to film, but it's like, I'm not in a good mood to film. And if I'm not in a good mood to film, then 
I feel like I'm just being fake to you guys, and that's the last thing that I want to do, you know? Which is part of the reason why I try to help so much. Yeah. It's because I know you want to make good videos. And so, like, I know that, oh, setting up the recording stuff gets on your nerves sometimes. <laughs> it doesn't always work exactly how it should. So many times where we've filmed and it's just like, the recording is like a millisecond slower than everything else. And it's just like, bruh, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, we've lost so many, like, good footage shots to just like stupid stupid shit. computer stuff that honestly i probably should have figured out but <laughs> yeah it's all your life fault. is hard <laughs> hey you don't pay me <laughs> exactly exactly and that's the best that's another good thing about these guys is that they're he they're here well a because they have to be but b they they genuinely enjoy helping me out so that that's great that's another great quality that you have so, those are my favorite moments. And I know most of it's, like, about me, but it's, like, I don't know. It's the fact that people are willing to go out of their way to help me. And I just really do appreciate that. I mean, that's more of a treat others the way you want to be treated. You've always treated me, like, day one, you treated me like you'd known me for, like, two years. <laughs> so that was kind of, like, literally the first impression I got from him was, like, this guy's too nice. <laughs> there has to be something going on. Like, this guy this guy can't be this nice. But he just legitimately is that nice of a person. I try. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like, well, you're constantly nice to me. I would feel bad <laughs> if I wasn't nice in, like, in, in return. Right. Which is why I, I try to be so, like, helpful with stuff. Except in the mornings. Never, never bother him in the mornings. <laughs> and not the hard way, many a times. Andrew, where, where are the, the spoons? <laughs> where they've always fucking been. Like, oh god. Like, I'm sorry. It's not how I said it. <laughs> you see? But you don't remember because you went back to sleep. No, I remember it. <laughs> and then, and then, um, probably another favorite moment was when we first had the bunk beds. I would pick the little oh bubbles god. off of the ceiling oh and throw god. them at them. And I'm sure I mentioned this in previous videos, but I would toss them at him just randomly so like you'd wake up and you'd be down there's like like our, our flooring would be a mess and it's like alex what the fuck were you doing and then he would deny that it was him it was the ghost i had to live with this for like eight months <laughs> <laughs> but i mean overall i feel like it's been a really yeah. good time you know and like i said it's not goodbye it's it's farewell for right now which um it's more of a see you later kind of thing yeah and and hopefully if everything goes right you will be back and you will be featured in videos and i mean current my current plan is i'll be down here before next school year starts exactly so exactly you so, probably won't notice anything <laughs> especially with the summer output that i typically have you know all right well i'm glad you guys got to know our views on each other's like friendship and living situations for the past eight months uh it's been a definite experience but i feel like we've both grown a lot as individuals and as friends um i think that's everything that we've covered pretty much yeah all right you ready to close it off you want to do it with me mm -hmm. all right and don't forget guys may, may the stars, stars be, be with, with you, you my friends, friends. Bye. bye all right you ready to go yeah Don't forget to show up, boy. Yeah.